Hey friends, welcome back to East Texas Kitchen. I am Mama Steph, and today I am going to make something that you may or may not have heard of before. It's an older Southern delicacy, let's say. It's called Jezebel sauce. It is a little bit like uh, pepper jelly, and we love to serve that over cream cheese, and you do the same thing with this. So let me show you how to make it. It's really fun and easy. So what you'll want is some apple jelly. So let's take the apple jelly, and we're going to do five ounces. And what that is is a half cup plus about a tablespoon. All right, and you just need a bowl that will hold about a quart. So I'm going to slide that in there. Now you'll want to measure this. I've already eyeballed it so I know how much I have left in my jar. So I'm not going to have to do that. But you need to make sure you get five ounces and then five ounces of pineapple preserves. Pineapple, what else is more hospitable and delicious in the South than a pineapple, right? That's the symbol. Um, I think maybe a national symbol, perhaps even further than that. Maybe it's international symbol for hospitality. Did you know? that. So we're going to do some of those delicious pineapple preserves in there. There you go. And then we're going to add a little kick. Now, this time we're not doing the kick from, from uh, jalapenos like we do in jalapeno jelly. We're actually going to do a little bit of horseradish, prepared horseradish. And so don't freak out. Stick with me on this one, y'all. A little bit of horseradish is a good thing because it gives you a nice little bit of heat and spice, but it's not an overwhelming horseradish flavor because we're just going to do about a third of a cup, okay? That's not a whole lot. So there you go. You see how much that is? All right. And then we're going to add to that about a tablespoon, excuse me, not a tablespoon, teaspoon and a half of dry mustard. You just get this nice ground dry mustard. And then we're going to do about a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now, if you think you want it hotter, next time you make it after you taste this batch, you can try more of the pepper flakes, that's fine. And then just a little bit of pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'll just eyeball that there. And so then, all you have to do at that point is stir this up. You can see how much it makes, just a couple of cups here. And then um, you want to make sure that everything is completely uh, combined and everything is nice and smooth. And then you'll stick it in the fridge, covered of course, overnight because you want all of these flavors to melt. So that's what that is going to do. Now this has been in the fridge. And so what I'll do is I'll take this beautiful plate. I've got some Triscuit triangles. I've got some softened cream cheese and we'll just put that that right over the top of it and then your guests can dig in and let me tell you something they will devour this just like they devour cream cheese with jalapeno jelly over it give it a try be the first one in your family or friend group to try Jezebel sauce enjoy oh 